Welcome to the wash daily. So today and news, if you ever met somebody who went to weed college, that's because now you can go to weed college. You know, most of the colleges are now offering courses in cannabis. It's very exciting. You know, the University of Colorado, University of Vermont, the schools in California, a lot of schools over in British Columbia and Canada, they're doing just straight up cannabis courses. How to do cannabis production, how to, ru how to run a dispensary, how to do everything related to cannabis, how to be a successful cannabis entrepreneur, a can entrepreneur. Uh, so that's kind of exciting. You know, that's interesting because there's a lot, of, a lot of countries are so far ahead of us here in the United States because our federal government keeps holding us back. And the reason is because we're so connected to the pharmaceutical industry. Anyway, Health and Human Services put out a video recently pushing more lies and propaganda against cannabis, uh, making just straight up lies that are completely just not even citable. What did they point here? You know, it's really sad what they're doing to cannabis, uh, but it's completely connected to Big Pharma. Now, Big Pharma doesn't want cannabis uh, utilized instead of their products. They're okay with cannabis as long as it's very expensive, but the medical marijuana is costing more than the pharmaceuticals. It has been come out in reports that the expensive medical marijuana is making a case now for opiate treatment. And for today, a growing supply of anecdotal data showing that cannabis can actually help folks with autism significantly. We know that the cannabinoids found in cannabis work directly with our endocannabinoid system and they help maintain our temperature and our pH balance and all kinds of things. And especially in the case of people with PTSD, it shows a lot of efficacy in being able to treat those folks and the horrible conditions that they're usually going through. So, you know, the thing is the government doesn't want, it seems like, us to not be using the pharmaceuticals. And when we're looking at the Department of Human Services, the person who has been put in charge of that is a lawyer who has been a pharmaceutical lobbyist for a long time, and he's got huge connections to the pharmaceutical industry. So it's, it's not a it's not a mystery why our federal government isn't looking at cannabis for what it is. The pharmaceutical industry stands to lose a lot of money if we can start treating our soldiers with cannabinoids. And so it's a complete conflict of interest that he was appointed to that position. And he certainly isn't uh, deviating from the plan, which is to keep the cannabis down and keep the people on the drugs that are causing them to die and have tremendous health problems. You know, it's a, a very sad state of affairs. And there's so many countries who are just completely looking at things in a different way, in a truthful way. Countries, we're seeing a lot of countries really come around. Sicily recently was able to mandate that all their sick folks who could use cannabis will get it for free. Thanks for watching The Wash. Daily.